super cute. Super, super, super cute, don't you agree? Currently we are looking at another species of tiger moth called Amata Krigeri Mariana. Supposedly the Mariana part of its name is a subspecies of the species Amata Krigeri. And this is a tiger moth found in Central Europe among, and some countries it has been recorded as Italia, Croatia, Turkey, Slovakia, Greece, France. But it was also recorded from uh, countries farther away from uh, Europe such as Ukraine, Dagestan and the countries that formed the former Yugoslavia which is basically Eastern Europe. Think of places like Bosnia, um, Bulgaria, as far as I know, was not part of Yugoslavia, but you know, in that region it can also be found. And uh, along the Mediterranean Sea, parts of France as well. So, uh, Greece, it's been recorded in Greece too. Anyway, in these countries, the, um, the caterpillars of this moth, uh, they roam the vegetation very lowly. And they feed on various low-growing plants, including Rumex, Gallium, Taxarecum and Plantago. In normal people's language, this is uh, things like dandelion, um, spurge, uh, dog leaf, sorrel, things like that. Basically, they're not picky at all and will eat many types of low growing herbs. In captivity, they will eat almost anything that's green, so it's very easy to raise them. Just make sure to keep the breeding container a little bit dry and not too humid. And they will thrive and pupate. The caterpillars have this really patchy look, which are which have a lot of hairs together in small bristles. Now these um, low vegetation dwelling caterpillars in rearing containers will often hide on the bottom of the container while feeding on some of the weeds and herbs. It's best to prepare a mix of several plants for them, and they will basically feed on the salad. Now after a while, these moths will pupate, of course, and they spin thin cocoon covered with hairs and after a short while the adults will hatch. Now these Amata Mariana are quite interesting because they look wasp-like, possibly resembling a wasp a little bit, offers them a little bit protection from predators. I don't know if the actual moths themselves are toxic, but it's not unheard of because it's a tiger moth and many tiger moths from the Arctinae family, which is a subfamily of the Erebidae. Um, often have some forms of chemical protection. I'm not sure if this is true in the genus Amata, but it could be. So if you know more info, write it in the comments. I'm also curious in knowing this. Uh, these moths are day flying. That means you won't see them at night, but during the day, where they will be very active on flowers. Uh, they have to feed. In captivity, you also have to feed them and offer them a little bit of warmth and also daylight. And under these conditions, they will pair, basically. In my opinion, these moths are really, really super cute. Uh, I've uh, raised a whole lot of them. The origin of my lipstick was uh, from Turkey. So this is why I think it's the subspecies Mariana. Because from that area, from uh, Dagestan, actually, the uh, subspecies Mariana was described for species Amata Kriferi. I'm not sure what to make of all its taxonomy, because I'm actually not a specialist in tiger moths. I like them, I read a lot about them, but I don't know the modern taxonomy of them. So if you know more info, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. I'll be very curious to know about what moth I'm looking at. However, I took a look at some systematic websites and they said that Mariana was basically a synonym of Krugeri and in some cases recognized as a subspecies. Amata is really a fascinating genus and a very diverse one. Last time I checked there was about 200 species of Amata found from temperate regions of the world to tropical Asia. So it's really interesting to study these guys in captivity and breed them. Unfortunately they are not that commonly bred by uh, many people so it can be tricky to get eggs. But when you manage to get eggs they're usually very easy and straightforward to breed. The hardest part in breeding Amata is pairing the adults because most moths will pair very easily if you just stick them in a small cage and ignore them at night. So in, in the darkness they will find each other and pair. But Amata they have different conditions. They need nectar, they need food, they need sunlight. Almost like a butterfly really. 
If you are into Tiger Moths, then now is a good time to subscribe to my channel. Why you ask? Haha. Well, that's because I'm doing some more products with them. I say lately I've been giving too much attention to Silk Moths, the uh, Saturni day. And I was like, hmm, you know, I need some more variety on my channel. So behind the scenes, I'm breeding a lot more Tiger Moths. Uh, I'm f making a few very long videos as well, but they won't be finished until 2020. But you should definitely stay tuned. I would like to thank you again for watching. Hope to see you next time I upload the video again. Bye bye.